Let us create a dynamic website using Shriram CMS. The website static files are kept inside the www root site folder. Its layout file is layoutsite.cshtml. The controller is home controller. And the views are kept inside the views, home, folder. Login to the CMS using username admin password secret $123 and from the CMS you can update the website's sections. First I am going to change the logo of the website. Go to the media section and upload the logo image. Then change the site logo from site info section. Refresh the site and you will see the new logo applied to it. Let's add a new image file. Notice four images are created. This is because the CMS will also create three crop images of the uploaded file. These images will have the following sizes 150 into 150 pixels, 250 into 250 pixels, 500 into 500 pixels. You can also upload multiple files at the same time. I am showing this to you. Now I am deleting some files by selecting them together. Let us add pages to the website. Create a new page and name it Home. It will be the home page for the website. Now refresh the website and you will see the changes. The design does not look nice. So let us update the design using Bootstrap. I am adding some Bootstrap design to the description of the home page. This will create a Bootstrap slider. Notice I will also have to change the images in the design wherever required. Watch it carefully.
Now I am adding some more HTML codes to further design the home page. Refresh the page and see how good the design of the home page is made. I am adding another page called Contacts. Notice it is not shown on the website's navigation menu. However, we can see it by opening its URL. Links to pages, blogs, or other links can be added to menu. Let us see how to do it. Go to the Add Menu section to create a menu called Main, and add menu items to it. Here in the menu items I am adding the links to home and contact pages. Now refresh the website and you will find the menu is updated. Menu items can also be arranged by dragging and dropping. They can also be shifted to put them under a specific item. This working is similar to that of WordPress, I hope you like this feature. Now coming to Blogs section. You can create Blogs category and Blogs inside these categories. First I create two blog categories which are flowers, and, woodworking. Now creating two blogs. First one is Rose whose blog category is selected as flowers. Notice I am setting its primary image also. Second one is Tools and its category is selected as Woodworking. Now all I have to do is update the navigation menu to contain the link of the blog category. The URL of the blog category is home slash my blog slash one.
the blog category is added to the navigation menu. Let us surf and enjoy it. You are now ready to use the CMS in your projects. Thank you.